Good evening, Chair Kowalski, Bruce, and ladies and gentlemen of the field board, Bruce Patterson, Garwood, uh, here to speak on the budget. Uh, I guess the first comment is, from what I understand, I, I, this, bud this budget hearing is probably illegal. It's being held within 27 days of, of uh, introduction and according to LFN 2018-28, that's supposed to be 28 days, so you're a day short. But we'll jump past that. Uh, you, uh, you have a, a chart that I had, uh, hopefully, Jim distributed to you, but I'll, I'll talk about it in a little while. Uh, hopefully, I, you, you did hear me the last couple of meetings when I was talking about like, budget issues, and so maybe have some answers when I talk about it again. And I just want to thank all the freeholders, yes, for, for getting involved and asking questions. So that, I'd like that. That was good, and I, I did mention that also previously. Uh, I did a spreadsheet. You don't have it, but I, I mean, I did a spreadsheet from uh, 2015 budget to 2019 budget. That's a five-year span, and that was when uh, that was over the span of when you got rid of Runnels and also you closed the juvenile detention center. And uh, I, I compared the numbers of, of all the appropriations that were in both budgets. And it was surprisingly, uh, it was actually a decrease from uh, this year's budget. I mean, this year's budget is actually a decrease of $25 million from the 2015 budget. Yet the, the $25 million is the appropriations, yet the budget actually is staying the same, $492 million versus $490 million. And oddly enough, taxes actually went up $32 million in that span of time. That tells me that these numbers, and like I said, I called it fictitious before, these numbers tell me something is not right with this budget, and I mentioned this on other budgets also, and it's out of balance. Um, and I don't think it's, a, we didn't lose any grant revenue, so I mean, something's just strange about this budget. Uh, some interesting I, items I found in, in comparing five, five years ago to now, uh, the Runnels and State Institutional uh, ex uh, appropriations. That would actually, that total about $70 million, and now that's gone, uh, replaced just by an offset of $12 million on Cornerstone. So, so there's like $55 million that, that was a savings that's now somewhere buried in your budget. Uh, salaries and wages went up 5% in five years, and even with the layoffs from the Juvenile Detention Center and the, and the Ronald's Hospital. But I guess you can chalk that up to contractual increases. I don't know if the number of people uh, actually, were, more people were high, hired, but it sounds like it's more like uh, just escalation costs. Insurance went up $10 million, or 14%. Uh, there was a group back five years ago that explained how to save another $7 million in insurance costs, but I assume you didn't even explore how to save that $7 million. Uh, and that's only because, uh, from what I see, insurance people donate to your uh, campaign. Uh, the Division of Strategic Planning was created five years ago for the Sandy Storm, and it's still on the books, being funded three quarters of a million dollars. Uh, one interesting thing, and the UCIA is now not being funded, and I find this odd, uh, uh, since you've been giving them $600,000 and it dwindled down to zero. So, I mean, that's okay, but they have a, a one and a half million dollar annual bill due uh, every uh, you know, twice, two times a year, $1.5 million uh, due to their failed uh, solar program. So, but I don't know where they're getting the money from, and I'm sure you're not concerned with it either. It's their problem. Um, but let's, let's talk about the graph, and hopefully you have it in, in your uh, possession to be looking at it. Yes, is that true, Chair Kowalski? Okay. We can see the graph, thanks. Yes, okay. Uh, what you're looking at, we're looking at uh, the top line going all the way up. That's, that's your running fund balance. That's the money that accrues by the end of the previous year going into this budget. And then it's right in your budget sheet. You know, and that right now is about $100 million. It's actually 103. But we're looking at a huge running fund balance as, as the years go by, and, and that's the chart going up. Uh, the next line going down is actually your surplus anticipated, and that more or less stays 20 million, 25 million, it's, it's a pretty flat chart, which is strange only because the running fund balance is, is screaming upwards. Uh, the next two lines, which is actually in color, and, and this is what I've been talking about the last couple of years, 
the orange line, let's just talk about the orange line. That's your tax increase every year. You're, you're hitting the, the, and Mr. the people. Patterson, please, yes. we can continue to look at this, but your time for comments is. Yeah. All right. I, look at this carefully because the tax in, increase really needs to be uh, decreased to zero. That's, that's the possibility, only because you're looking at the uh, purple line, which offsets the taxes. Yeah. So. Hopefully, one, one somebody up there is going to abstain and vote no. Thank you. Thank you.